Youth runner here with the Harriman boys, making history. First team ever outside of California uh, to, uh, to win three in a row. Only the third group ever uh, in the history of the uh, Woodbridge Cross Country Classic to win three in a row. Enough of the uh, introductions. Uh, let's, let's get to talking about the masterpiece that they put together uh, tonight. Obviously, we talked about it at, at Tipinogos, what it would mean to kind of you know fulfill that prophecy and make that aspiration a reality. Uh, how special is it to, to, to be part of this tonight? It's awesome. I mean, we've worked a lot just to be here today to compete at this race, and it's awesome to see all the boys come through and really put up huge performances, especially with like Jackson and Tay being up as high as they were. Absolutely. Talk to me about the, uh, about the energy tonight. It's it's pretty much unmatched anywhere in the United States. How special yeah. was it? I feel felt very excited and also just felt like I already had caffeine even though I didn't even have it. So. <laughs> this is the most natural caffeine ever out here. Let the gun go off at Woodbridge and then that's uh, that'll take care of the rest. Yes. Great job tonight. You just continue to impress, man. I mean, just, uh, I mean, obviously, these uh, these environments are just so rare and uh, and so unique. Yet you guys look so comfortable. Like, how how important has that been? That it's just like, you know, that you guys just it just feels so natural for you guys. Um, I think Souls just really works really hard to give us the opportunities that we need to perform so high. So just getting comfortable with being elite um, has prepared us to do what we did today, and I'm super grateful for it. Fantastic, great job. Thank you. I mean, you, you guys, it's like, with all the success already, it's hard for you guys to outdo yourselves, and then I see tonight. And, uh, I mean, like, but you guys just stay so locked in and like, and just, you know, not matter of fact about it. I know you, I mean, I know you, you put in the work and like you appreciate it, but I mean, is, I mean, is, is it fun just to test your limits and be like when people say we can't run 70 minutes or 69 minutes or whatever, it's like, well, let's go out and prove to people that we can run 69 or 70 minutes here. I know. It's like, so I did not know what kind of fitness I was in. Like I had the general idea, but like I knew like coming out of uh, Timp into the training block, I, I was feeling good like through the whole training block, but I felt the fitness like just starting to get like higher and higher to like just a better level. I knew I was going to run. I knew we were all going to run faster than we did at Timp today. And I, we just outdid ourselves here. We were we were expecting to win, but we we've just done it so well today. Absolutely, I'm so happy about it. great job. In, uh, just in, in in terms of you know, for obviously the three of you having been here, like I know it wasn't apples to apples the same course, but I mean obviously you just you, you get kind of the lay of the land, like yeah. you get an understanding. How much did that uh, did that benefit not only the three of you but the group tonight? Yeah. We came here yesterday and we like we checked out the course. We knew the first mile was a little different and like with the downhill that end of the first mile, like we were gonna fly and like usually the second and third mile a little bit slower, but here you can just like keep keep pushing that second and third and maybe those are even your faster than your first mile and coming here every year it's like this me on the calendar is the most it's so exciting and it's just awesome to see how fast we run today. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you. So glad that you're healthy, so glad that you're happy and you're thriving. Uh, I mean, when you guys were kind of just, you know, envisioning, you know, visualizing, because I know visualization is a big yeah. deal for Coach Souls and, uh, and this program, like what a perfect night would look like. How close is this to a perfect night, Tayshaun? Pretty much there. Yeah. You know, coming into here, we knew we were fit, we knew we're good, and, you know, we wanted to prove it. So our goal, since we're so close together, was how many can we get under 14, and our expectation was two, so we, we hit our expectation, and we succeeded it, like we knew we were going to do good, but I think we did even better than we thought we could do. Fantastic work, man, congratulations. Thank you. My guy, just in terms of, you know, uh, the, the, even when the pace ramps up, right, this group never loses track of each other, like you never detach, I mean, obviously, you know, that, that's, that's something that, you know, not everybody you know can can first of all understand, let alone execute. Like, how significant was that tonight? That when one move, the whole group moves. Yeah, it's huge. We like to train together, and uh, when one of us goes, we're like, we're just as good. We can keep up and we keep pushing. At nationals last year, we had orange jerseys that really stood out, and so we could find each other really well. And for this year, we chose white. And so we can find each other really well again. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the, these guys could be wearing camouflage and, uh, <laughs> and, and you know uh, in, in the jungle, and they'd still be able to find each other. Guys, fantastic performance uh, again. Three Pete, uh, first team ever outside of California to be able yeah, to achieve it, and only the third in meet history. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.